Okay, what's going on guys? So this is going to be a different kind of video, um, and this is, uh, right off the bat, I'll say this is recorded on my phone, because uh, I don't have an actual camera, so if the quality looks bad, if the sound is terrible, I apologize, but that's kind of uh, all I've got. So, I've had some questions regarding, um, not specifically my recording setup, mainly how the HD PVR works, which is right there. So, I'm going to be taking a look at this today, and showing you guys how to maybe hook it up, and this could go for anyone that's been on my channel has been curious, or anyone otherwise. Um, I guarantee anyone that buys this thing is going to have to look up a tutorial video about it, because it can be confusing. So, let's talk about the HD PVR first, because this is kind of the, the bread and butter of the whole deal. So, I'm just going to sit down and get, get nice and close to it here. So this is the HD PVR, that's the front of it, You've got a big button on top, mine's a little dusty. Okay, so something I have to say that's very, very important about this. Throughout this entire video, I forgot to mention that the version of the HD PVR 2 that I got is the Gaming Edition Plus, which you can see a picture of it on the screen right now. That's a picture of the box. The box might have changed a little bit, but it's important that I mention this because this one specifically comes with the cables to get you started with recording an Xbox 360 or PS3. If you don't get the Gaming Edition Plus, I can't guarantee that you'll get all these cables. Look into what's included in the box before you spend any money on it. I cannot urge that enough, and for the rest of this video, when I say HD PVR 2, assume I'm talking about the gaming edition, okay? And uh, this light can actually go all the way around the, the whole thing, and that will happen when you turn it on and the light goes green. We'll talk more about the lights in a minute, but the important thing um, is what comes with the PVR. So you get the box, you get, I think you get two of these HDMI cables right here, and this one is real short and it just goes up to the TV. You get this, um, right here is the power cable. I'm doing this, <laughs> I'm looking through the camera to do this. So this is the power cable and that runs around down to my little power strip over there. Um, you get this is a USB cable and this goes down and around all the way back around to my laptop. This is just a USB hub, nothing fancy. Um, I only need it for mine because my laptop only has two USB ports and sometimes that's not enough. But anyways, so that runs in there. I believe you need USB 3.0. So keep that in mind. Um, some other things you get... Let me get back up here. Some other things you get that are pretty unique um, is this piece right here, and actually just touching it, as you can see, made my screen flicker. This is a very sensitive piece because it does not click in very tightly. And this is, if anything is giving you problems with black screens or whatever, it's probably this one. Um, but this is your component cable connector. It's very short. It just goes from here to there. That's all it is. And you have your, uh, your uh, red, green, blue um, video cables and then your, your white and red audio cables as you can see back there. Now this other HDMI here is going to my PS or my uh, Xbox 360. Now, it's important to actually look at these. Uh, it's important to actually look at these spots on the back here because the HDMI cables are different. So, I don't know if you can read that. You probably cannot. Uh, the one on the left is HDMI in, and the one on the right is HDMI out. You probably can't see it because it's getting a little. It's blocked by the uh, cable itself. But basically, the in is the one that goes to your console. So it goes from your console in to the HD PVR. The HDMI out goes out of your HD PVR to the TV. This is your output, and that's your input. So that's how you can remember that. Now, the AV over here in the middle is also an input, and like I said, it uses component cables. So. This is how I can record straight from the PS2. For those of you who have been on my channel, you know this is Naval Ops Commander, PS2 game. So, pretty um, pretty neat that I can record it straight from the console in good quality, because it comes in as uh, component cables and actually gets recorded to the laptop as... I don't think it's... Uh, I mean, it's as high quality as you can expect out of a PS2, which is nice, because when it's on a TV like this, you might even be able to see you know, some of the letters are a little blurry and stuff, and that's what happens when you try to scale it up like that. So let's look at this component cable. If I follow it back, and this is a huge cable mess, so I'm not going to try and actually follow the cable, but all the way back around down here, 
that component cable that's coming out of the back of my PS2, right there, it's uh, this one, if you're not familiar with PS2, that <clears throat> also came with the HD PVR. Um, and it's meant for PlayStation 3s, but it works in PlayStation 2. So this would replace the regular AV cable that you probably have with your PS2. And um, this, like I said, this came with the HD PVR 2, which is nice. So this comes out of where the, HD, the uh, AV cable would come out of, since there's no HDMI on this guy. And it goes back up to there. Now the cool thing about this... Lots and lots of consoles have component cables if they don't have HDMI. For example, the Wii. I don't have it on right now, but I do have component cables for it. So, if I move around the back of this, you can see this is a... It looks like a normal AV cable that would always come with your Wii, but the cable is a little bit thicker, and if we follow it back around over here, we can see that... Here it is, and these are these are also component cables. Red, green, blue, and then red and white audio right there. Now, what's what's probably the most amazing thing about this, and I only recently learned this, if I go ahead and turn this on. So now you can see the light, the Wii is on. Now all I have to do, and this will be hard to do one-handed, so I might have to set you guys down for a sec and then train you back up. But as you can see, we're on the PlayStation 2 right now. I have to set this down because I need two hands for this, but I will pick you guys up in one second. All I'm doing is I'm going to change the component cables while everything is on over to the Wii, and we'll actually be able to just switch straight to the Wii in one fell swoop. And this is probably the coolest thing I've learned about this so far because it also works well, with anything that has HDMI, or not HDMI, component cables. Well, HDMI as well. But if it doesn't have HDMI because it's an older system, if you can find component cables for it, it will also work. So, those are plugged in there now, as you can see. And look at this, the Wii is up. Just like that. Real quick and easy. And the coolest thing is that even for some handheld consoles, such as the PSP, you have component cables. So these are also component cables. But if we look at the other end of it, this would plug into the bottom of a PSP. Focus. Focus. Come on. I think you guys can kind of see it. It's, it's a little blurry. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah, so that goes into the bottom of a PSP. So literally anything that has component cables can work with this. Now, as for this USB cable that runs to the laptop, and into there. <clears throat> this is where you should go to the HD PVR website, and you can see this is kind of my recording setup. I sit here, microphone, this is a Blue Snowball, relatively cheap, a very good starter microphone. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's getting scratchy, uh, as usual. Um, and this is the Hoppage Capture program, which I can make a separate video about this if you guys need me to, because this is a little more complicated. But the short version is, this is the little uh, logo for it, right there, and uh, you can get that off of the Hoppage uh, support page or website, whatever it is. And um, it's it's free, but you have to plug in your your HD PVR as kind of your proof of like, hey, I own this thing. So that's that. Now, if I bring that back up real quick, you might have noticed my 360 was on as well. Um, so basically, with the 360, I just took an HDMI cable out of the back of the 360, like you always would, and instead of taking it to the TV, we took it to the HD PVR. So now as I bring this up, we have, there's our Wii, and there it is right there on the TV, and this works the same way with the PS2. This is the important bit here, we want component out of the drop-down menu, and AV in out of the drop-down menu like so. Now to switch to the 360, and this is also pretty cool that we can do this on the fly, all we have to do is come to this component window and switch it to HDMI, and it automatically switches the audio to HDMI. The screen will go black for a second, and there's our 360. And here's our 360. So that is pretty, pretty cool stuff. Now I'm going to switch it back to <clears throat> component real quick. So, 
And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, this, this component cable coming out of the back of my PlayStation 2 is uh, included with the HD PPR, as well as this little short AV component cable here that comes out of the back, the USB cable, the power cord, and I believe there are two short HDMI cables that they give you um, as well, so that if you're using a 360, you have one to run to your 360 in case you don't already have one, and then you have one to run to the TV, also in case you don't already have one. So, that's the HD PVR2. The last thing I want to talk about are the lights. So you can see I have this yellow light on here right now. Um, that will change if... That is because basically the yellow light tells you that you're ready to record. Everything is hooked up properly, and all you have to do is hit start record on or this, this big, big old record button here on the window. Or sometimes, supposedly, you're supposed to be able to hit this big button. There you go. And uh, this green light comes on all the way around, like I said before, and that means you're recording. Um, Sometimes, though, the button does not quite work. It's a very large button, which means that the actual button is probably here, and if you press, like, somewhere on the edges, it won't it won't quite pick it up. Also, for my recording setup, it's all the way over there, and I'm, like, back here. So, that doesn't work very well. But, uh, this works fine. You've got a mute button down here. Um, I always crank the voice audio all the way up and bring the game pretty far down because... I don't know, that's just how it seems to work, and if anything else, um, you could always change the in-game volume options as well, and uh, that's how, that's pretty much how you would set up your HD PVR2 with a PS2, an Xbox 360, a Wii, or even a PSP, or anything else that has component uh, cables or an HDMI output. So. That, I think, will cover most of what we need for our little guide on the HT PVR2, so I hope that was useful to somebody. The last thing I want to mention about this light is if I go over here, I'm on my laptop now, if I close out this recording program here, you'll see it goes like a light blue for a little bit, and this is while the program is closing out. And then, eventually, I believe it will go to a darker blue, right? Maybe? No, it's on the light blue still. And this is where the lights can get confusing. Um, the, the little booklet that will come with your HD PVR2 will go into more detail about the lights, or of course the website. Now if I unplug it, it'll blink a little bit, and it'll come off. And if I plug it back in... Oh boy, one-handed. Yeah, one sec. Yeah. There we go. If I plug it back in, the screen will flicker, because it's checking whether the last used setting was HDMI or component, and there it is. And now it's a slightly darker blue, I don't know if you guys can tell. This pretty much just means that it's plugged into your computer, and it's plugged in correctly, but there, there's no program trying to run it. It's just, it's connected to the computer, and it's connected correctly. So, I think that about covers it for the HD PVR. For anyone who's curious, the power brick for the HD PVR is no longer or it's not a regular outlet, it's this guy here. Can you see that? It's this big one here. Um, so keep that in mind when you are uh, finding a place to plug this in. That's why I have this massive, massive power strip here. So that'll about cover it for the HD PVR. I hope that was helpful to uh, at least somebody out there. And if you have any more questions, comments, or concerns, there is a section for that called the comment section. So. Let me know if uh, let me know if this was helpful or if you need anything else, uh, any more troubleshooting. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you guys in whatever the next video I put up is. So see you then.